Hi, this is Ruben from Mile High Sounds. I'm an Ableton certified trainer based in Malaysia, and I'm really excited to be hands-on with the latest release of Live Live 10. I would like to start with Live 10's improved browser. At some point, one may want quick access to a palette of sounds they have become familiar with. In this example, I'm demonstrating the ease of assigning some of my favorite instruments to collections. By default, these collections are named according to color. Apart from being able to assign my choices either with the mouse or using the numbers 1 to 7, the user is also able to rename these collections as they choose. I've chosen to label them Legato, Fast Attack, Pads and Bass. I'm also going to add another instrument to Pads that I created a couple of months back sampling resonance from an empty wine glass that incidentally includes a new live audio effect called Echo. If the user would like to revert the collections back to their default color names, they can do so by simply deleting the existing name. There comes a time where you want to just load up an instrument and jam. The reality is that you might actually end up playing something you wish you recorded after. Live 10 is listening, and the new capture feature takes care of this, intelligently listening out for phrasing and tempo. Take note of the live set's current tempo and what happens after I play a groove and then hit capture. Note, this also can be achieved with push by pressing and holding the record button and then pressing new. I've always been a big fan of reversing samples. What started out as a desire to create a simple reverse kick drum back in 99 has evolved into so much more. Here is a frozen MIDI track of the built-in Live Grand Piano with Max for Live's Convolution Reverb Pro and the Echo Audio Effect on the same track. My intent is to use the tail from these effects to swell into the first beat of my intro. In Live 10, one can simply select the segment of an audio clip to be reversed without splitting. Hit R and then stretch the length of an audio clip as needed by holding Shift and click dragging from either the top half left or right of a clip. Furthermore, the fade point and curve slope can be adjusted by simply adjusting their respective handles. Consolidate also works with time selections without having to split. The user can now toggle between showing track content and track automation using the A key shortcut. Zooming is also now very convenient via the command control modify key with the scroll wheel for horizontal scrolling and Alt Option can also be used for expanding tracks vertically. One can simply click on a breakpoint envelope line and the breakpoint will be created perfectly on the grid. Fine tuning of a breakpoint's value can also be achieved by holding the Alt Shift modifiers and click dragging vertically. Dragging horizontally will maintain the existing value whilst allowing its timing position to be changed according to the grid resolution. Holding Command Control bypasses this. Undo after save is now possible. Another welcome feature is backup, which saves timestamped versions at every save point, making the return to previous versions of live sets a breeze. Save a copy was always an essential part of my project management process, and incidentally I would label my files according to year, month, and day with time. Thank you for watching and I look forward to diving deeper into Life 10 with you in the next video.